Hi everyone, I will show you a method to equalize the color of two photos in the shortest time with the best result. Let's start by masking the photo we have. You can quickly select the object using the Select Subject shortcut, then just click on the Layer Mask button at the bottom of the right panel. Of course, there are more professional ways to do this and I will tell you about them, but that's not our topic right now. Firstly, Duplicate the existing layer using one of the shortcuts, Command-J or Control-J. Then select the layer you copied and turn on the Image Adjustments Match Color filter in order. On the page that opens, select your existing PSD file in the Source section. In the Layer section, select your background image, then adjust the luminance and color intensity values according to your own photo. Since this is not the final result, just find the closest colors. Now close this screen by pressing the OK button and select the layer to which the effect is applied. Set the blending option of this layer to soft light. Then adjust the opacity value to best suit your background. If you wish, you can improve the result by adding a layer of light and color. You should adjust the values of these yourself according to the photo you have. Now select all layers except the background and group them using the shortcut Command-G or Control-G. Then select this group, right-click and select Blending Options. On the page that opens, select the Inner Shadow option. Adjust the blending mode color according to your own photo. The trick here is to use the color of the light in the background and the angle of the light. After making your settings, close the page by pressing the OK button. Now we will add a shadow to our object. There are many ways to do this, but the shortest and most practical way is to use a circular gradient. You can increase the sense of reality by adding a few circular gradients where the object touches the ground. The trick here is that the colors used in the gradient should not be completely black. It should be a very dark version of the background color and the blending mode should be multiplay or hard light. Finally, if there is a white appearance around your object due to the mask, there is a short way to solve this. Select the mask of your object and click on it while holding down the Command or Control key. When you do this, you will see that area selected. Then select the item group and click the Add a Layer Mask button below. Then follow the Filter Other Minimum Path and adjust the value in the filter that opens according to your own photo. Usually a value between 1 and 3 is enough. And your photo is ready. For more training videos, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. See you soon.